crankity crankity crank. What's up? 12th of August, 1839. Ah, prisoners. Banishment ritual is taking longer than expected, and we have to do what is needed. I spend my time helping out the prisoners. Being around these degenerates makes me ill. None of them even tries to face their punishment with any kind of dignity. They taunt me with their lies of innocence and their cowardly pleas of mercy. What can make a man fall so far from the grace of a civilized existence? They are all wicked men, and I remind myself of it constantly. Still, I am you thankful for know. God sending these monsters our way as they will serve as the instruments of my salvation. I try to study the different tools in the torture chamber and learn how to use them effectively. Last time was messy, and the effect suffered from my inexperience. When the next warding is to be performed, I shall be ready. The prisoners are probably innocent, Daniel. You're being naive. You're being naive. Being naive, buddy. Don't budge, that's fine by me. I don't like these sounds. This almost seems, uh... Seems super foreign in design. But it looks really cool. Imagine if this thing was built in real life. Like, hot damn. Also, there's something... Oh. That's where we gotta eventually go, huh? Run back, I suppose. Is this ill time for the sick dead? If so, blame yourself. You started this. You sent me that letter asking for help, and this is how you repay me. How dare you! I think you're being a bit too uh naive to Alexander. Once our morality starts to kick in, that's when you should be a tad worried. Just a tad, a tad bit, you know. This is the torture room, I thought, though. Dad, I hate to bother your first, but... If you're really going after Alexander, would you consider taking me with you? I know it sounds ridiculous. I mean, look at it. Yeah. But if you find anything concerning a man named Johan Hyde, would you please bring it to me? I believe he is working on a way to help him. A recipe for some sort of potion. A tonic to free me from this husk of life. Mementos. John Wayner. So, we gotta find that too, eh? Where? What level? Oh, that level. So many of Alexander's things are breaking down. Look around. Maybe the other room. There are machine parts hidden all over this place. What happened to her? Lever in this room, you say. Lever, 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 lever. No lever here. No. 
lever, 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 lever? No lever. I don't know what lever he's talking about. Oh, hey. Maybe he's talking about a room back. Ah, you get it. Who, me? I'm Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. That was once quite important to you. Baron Alexander has sustained my soul in this dead house for years. Who knows how many? Hundreds, I presume. So it's just a husk, and really he's, uh... I wonder if this would break the wood. No, no, no. Aim for wood. Nope. It was worth a try, though. Okay. Time to go back. Something must not be working in the machinery. Well, I mean, I might as well fill all that up now. Fill it most of the way. Let me think. Let me think. By me, I'm the next best thing. Alexander really wanted none other than Johann Bayer. Why? You never heard of Johann Bayer? No! My god, boy. He's probably the greatest man in history. And you don't know him? Nope. Or is it the world who has forgotten him? The world, probably. Ooh, trapdoor. I am my pupil, my pupil. Yes, I do take pride in that. Is it so wrong? No. I found a myth I have one which had not been plundered. Do you know myth I I suppose it doesn't matter. It is an old thing, building temples out of caverns. The dark walls being the universe, and inside are its followers, humans, watching the sky slowly turn. But the followers do have one thing to allow them a real sense of connection, creation. The orbs. Not many orbs are left there. So all I found spared my life and returned to where I found him. I know because Alexander took it and brought it to Breidenberg. Really? Vaya was a brave man and dared to proceed where I did not. He unearthed a number of cavern temples and gathered a whole collection of orbs. But unlike every other finder since the fall of the Israel day, he was able to unshackle the horror you and I connected with the orbs. He used them 
and was able to travel far and wide beyond the world itself. Another dimension, basically, is what you're telling me here. That's nifty. Another dimension. That'd be a cool thing to travel. Not the way I hope. I've done all that I can to escape this place. But now, I use all my strength merely to stay alive. So I bet you those levers work now. It's probably what those gears were for. And I'm guessing we have to get in the laboratory at some point. Probably, we, we, uh, the papers for Agrippa are probably in there. Alright, come on. Stop sticking. Every couple steps, he seems to, like, stutter. Yeah, just like that. There you go. Who are you to question me? Not me. I wonder what that did. I can't open this door anymore still, can I? Nope. That's fine. That's cool. Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. What did that do? Ah, you again. Yep. You got the doors open? Good going. I knew you could do it. Ah. Uh, right. Seems to work for us. Anything else in here? Ah, yes, we found what we needed for him. Agrippa channels Ware. Ware taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and still he insists on me releasing Agrippa. How an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa as he is and has been for centuries, my only link to the worlds beyond. Weyer claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that he needs me to give him Agrippa first so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige, but how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of. I have seen their deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Weyer told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, vitae, and tamter. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. A choir seems to be a fertile grounds for this sort. I should be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. The vitae should, could, could be extracted as usual from an, any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tamter, on the other hand, will provide more difficult. Will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water-dwelling cairn. I will have to dress Weyer with this, as he will have to supply me a host. Also, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. Wire. It had gone too far. The man was suffocating as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look for the Damascus rose oil.
I don't like this music sound, these music-ish type sounds. Fifteenth of August, eighteen thirty-nine. Ooh. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry! No time to spare. You have to kill another. This is a... Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Keep the man. Cut the lines. Cut the flesh. Watch the blood spill. Let it come. Please, I didn't do anything. Paint the man. Cut the lines. Paint the man. Cut the lines. Please, the man cries. Alexander, that's fucking messed up, bro. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. That's not messed up or anything. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Oh, I didn't even see this. Wow, I didn't even see that. The shadow, it's close now. I didn't go to the main hall yet for the choir, so I guess I gotta go there, I'm guessing. Just a guess. A little bit of a guess. Hmm. <laughs> what are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. Just shut up. Ooh, flashback. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. 
That's fucking messed up. This does nothing. Going down here did nothing. Oh! Piece of orb, though! How many pieces do I need? Here, maybe there will be a door down here for me to access. Not a monster, though. Hi. Doing a little bit of peek, see, because I don't want to run into him. Oh, shit. Sneaky, sneaky peeky. If he finds us here, we're fucked. Where'd he go? Ah, there he is. It's weird that these corners have light. And I can gain sanity by doing that. That's better. Hello. Possible to break open, you say? Poison gland, part of what we need for him. Success. This is weird. Okay. Oh, this is a torture thing. That's brutal.
Don't know what that is, but okay. Just being cautious because I don't want to bump into that guy again. We're just going to keep hugging the right wall though. Just because the right seems to be right, you know? Oh. That's a thing though. Perfect, another door. Just what I was hoping for. Just so that way we aren't followed. Ah, this game does a good job of creating very spooky. Hey! Fuck him! Okay. As I was saying, it creates good atmosphere for stuff like that. And shit, just that's not messed up or anything. So, this is another torture chamber, which means should be an orb in here somewhere. Ah. So, the wheel. Stay together. Okay. Hold on, I need to check my notes here. Shattered pieces lie in the scattered torture chambers. I feel like I missed torture chambers. <laughs> 